16%. We will pay housing tax whether we need a house or not. The cost of basic goods, which has been weighing Kenya down, is going up from next week again. At a time like this, silence would be a betrayal to the country. Silence would be treason. We cannot be a nation of people who, having eyes, refuse to see, and having ears, refuse to hear. We have suffered a cruel betrayal of our trust and confidence in the ability of our representatives to protect us. We must punish the traitors. And we must force a repeal of the Finance Act. But what happened this past week and yesterday is not just about the Finance Act. This is about the reemergence of a dictatorship and the leaders who cut their teeth and honed their political skills in an infamous school of dictatorship. We all know where Ruto, Mr. William Ruto is coming from. We all know where Rigadi Gachagua is coming from. In the run-up to the vote on the bill, more than 90% of Kenyans rejected it. Even after MPs voted in favor of the bill, polls continue to show that the majority of Kenyans did not like it. However, true to his character as a dictator, Ruta proceeded as if Kenyans had not spoken and he imposed punitive taxes on us without our consent. That is contempt for the people. In a democracy, few individuals can use government as their tool against the people. The idea that only the wishes of Ruto and 